Hello YouTube and welcome to the fifth tutorial of After Effects. So today what we're going to do is we are going to look at something called keying. That means removing background in a video, like making it transparent and then replacing it with something different. So we're going to see that right now. I'm going to import a video right now. Uh, so I'm going to import this video known as Candle on Green Screen. And as you can see, there's a green background and if I were to play this video, a hand comes along to light up the candle. So, I'm going to remove the green background right over here, make it transparent, and then add in another footage behind it. Okay? So now, I'm going to drag this down over to the composition. So I have this. And to do that, to, and to remove the green background, it is fairly pretty simple. So what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to go over to this option on my effects panel known as Keen. So I'm going to go over to Keen, and then you can actually see there are a lot of options right here. So now I'm going to drag in a simple function that's linear color key. Let me just drag that out over here. And what it does is it gives me an option over here at the left that says key color. So I can grab this eyedropper tool. Okay, if I click it, it turns to, to this icon. I can go over here and then simply click on it and boom, the background is gone. And if you see that, now the hand comes up. Now, the, this is actually, uh, the, the black portion over here has become transparent. So I can add in with any background picture I want, a picture or a video, let's say. So let me just import another video right here. Let me just uh, import this morning sky over here, put it over to the background. And as you can see, the background has actually changed. But do you notice some things over here? Like uh, the thing is that our video put this green, um, green screen behind is not very perfect. So when I actually use the linear color key, it doesn't turn out, per, turn out to be perfect. You can actually see transparencies over here at the finger areas as well, where it should actually be black. So let me see what is going on right here. I'm going to disable this video at the bottom, and I'm going to see the alpha channel of this video footage. And to see the alpha channel, if you remember from the previous lesson where we played around with transparency a bit, we work with alpha channel right from here. We're going to see the alpha channel, and as you can see over here, there is gray part um, over here, now, which means that this part also has become transparent while I didn't want it transparent. So this is a fairly simple control, and I can uh, increase and decrease the tolerance over here. So let me just increase the tolerance. Uh, okay, I, don't, I do not want that. Let me uh, increase the matching softness. Does that do anything? Okay, let me just get around the point where I want it. But if I do that, you can actually see that the rest of the green uh, areas also come up. So this is not the key I want. I want a different key. So let me just delete the uh, linear color key. That's a pre pretty simple trick. I'm, I'm getting on with the other effects that I want. So now we're going to uh, let us use another key, a keying feature that's known as let's say I'm going to use the color rain key. Okay, so this is quite different. It actually gives me three eyedroppers, so I can select out a basic color, and then I can select out the other eyedropper, I can select out the other color, and then click the other color right here. Okay, so I can increase the fuzziness level to adjust the green screen, and then I can see the alpha channel as well. But that also gives me some sort of transparency that I don't want. As you can see, the, these areas are green. So if I were to turn over this icon over here, then I can actually see through the hand this is not what I want. So now, these are some of the keys that you can use for some videos. But these are not the keys that I usually use. I actually like to use this thing called key light. And I just showed you the other effects because like to show that you got other options as well. So I'm going to drag the key light over onto this footage right here. And then over here at the left, you can choose the color as in any other effects right here. So I can choose the color I want. And this fairly feels simple, but you can actually see the noise here at the bottom. So I'm going to disable this video again. I'm going to go over to the alpha channel and you can see that there are some transparencies I still don't want. Here are some transparencies I don't want. So I'm going to go over to, let's go into screen mask and you can see options called clip black and clip white over there. 
So let me go over to clip black and then increase the tolerance. And as you can see, I want to remove it, make it completely black. If I were to increase the value of this, it will turn black. So this is black. I want to remove the gray area over here. That gray area means semi-transparent. So I do not want this footage to be semi-transparent. So I'm going to remove the black area. Okay. I'm going to reduce the white area to make it in more perfect. Okay. Now, this seems quite uh, fine. I can simply play the video while I'm in the off the channel as well. This part is still gray. So I'm going to increase the clip white. Okay. So now you can see that this isn't transparent anymore. Okay, so the fire part is a bit transparent, but that doesn't matter because fires are transparent in real life as well. So I'm going to go over back onto my RCD mode, and then I'm going to enable the background to see the effect. So this is a fairly decent effect, and here at the edge there's some black edges which I don't really want. So I can do something about it. So but if we were to actually zoom it in and see something else, I'm going, going to disable this morning background again and go over back to my offer channel. And as you can see, the edges are really, really sharp. I do not want really sharp edges, but I actually want soft edges right here. So what I can do is I can simply search over an effect called Simple Joker, drag it down onto the video at the top, and then increase the choke mat. Let me just increase it just over a bit. So as you can, as I increase this, you can see that the edges actually reduce a bit. So I'm going to increase that over, let's say, 3 pixels. I can simply go in and just type 3. Okay, so that's it. And if I do that, when I come back to my RGB channel, you can actually see, uh, let me enable the background video, you can see that the black edges have disappeared. But still the edges are quite sharp and I do not want sharp edges because nothing in real life is sharp. So I'm going to have some soft edges right over here. So I already have my effects on over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to duplicate this. Let me disable this and show you what I mean. I'm going to select this. I'm going to I'm going to press Control D so that it duplicates. So now I have a similar a similar layer, an exact replica of the previous footage. So I'm going to disable the top layer and work with the bottom layer. And in the bottom layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the simple choker. I'm going to just add in uh, one pixel of value over here so that it expands a bit. Then I'm going to add in an effect on the bottom layer known as Gaussian Blur. So let me add it in over here and then increase the blurriness by, let's say, 3 pixels. It's actually up to you how you want to do it. And that actually blurs the image at the background. So now, when I enable the top background, you actually can see that the top background is quite clear, and you got the soft edges you want out of the background layer where, where I added in the background, uh, where I added in the blurriness. So if I were to go to the alpha channel, you can see that there's a gradual change in the level of transparency. That's like white over here and then it turns a bit gray, then it slowly turns into black. So that gives more of a visual player to the footage. And this is how I like to see my footage because it is it works perfectly for imperfect backgrounds and this is pretty much most effective way to key the footage perfectly. So let me go back to RGB. Let me see uh, if the footage is alright. Okay. It seems fine. Let me enable the background. Okay. Let me enable the background. And there you go. Let me do this 100%. And there you go. You can actually see the soft edginess. I do not see the black edge anymore. So that's out of the way. And then you can see that it lights up the candle. You still seem to have a bit of black L on the hand, so I can increase, let me just disable the background and then increase the simple choker value over here. Let me do 5. Does that remove it? I guess not. I can even go further. Let's go 9, maybe. Okay, that's about, does it, I guess. And go over to the bottom one. Let's do, let me enable this as well. 
Let me do around six over here. Maybe not six. Seven might do the trick or eight. Oh, that's the blurriness value. Okay, let me go at the bottom window. Let me go at the bottom layer and then go over to simple choker. Let me increase the choker value by maybe five. Okay, that's about does the trick, isn't it? But let me just see if I can get some more details out of it. Okay, that's not good. That's not looking good. You can actually see the black circles right there. I'm going to go over to five and see if that's okay. Okay, maybe six. Six. Okay, that's about it. So now I do not see the black edges anymore, and this seems more of a like a perfect game right over there. So now I do not want the rest of the footage. I'm simply going to drag this work area right around this area, right click, and then trim comp to work area. So I only got that portion of the work area. So now let me see what I what else I can do with this. So now yes. What I want to do is I want the viewers to just focus on the footage of the hand and the candle and not the background very much. So I'm going to select the background, add in a Gaussian blur on the background and increase the blurriness. Let me increase the value just about, okay, let's say, okay, this seems fine. So now people, your audience will actually focus on the hand and the candle rather than the background. So you got a... Pretty nice moving background over there. Now background awfully seems to be a bit dark, so let me increase the brightness of it as well. So let me increase the brightness of the background. Let me increase the brightness. Okay, that's the part sums it up. It's all visual uh, visual preference really. Increase it a bit more. That one bit. Okay, let me just see if the footage is fine. And that seems good. Okay, so now you can actually see that the black is still reappeared, so I can readjust them. Let me increase the choke mat. Let me just go this and see this. Increase the choke mat to over 11. 12. Okay, not too much. And then the background to about six. Okay, that's about does it. So I'm going to render render out this video. And before I render out, I want to show you another thing which is used for keying as well. So I'm going to import a simple picture with a white background. So if I do not have a green screen and I have a white background instead I can key key the footage in white background as well. So keying can also occur in blue or any other background as long as it is different from the uh, foreground color. So it doesn't ma really matter which color you are actually using because After Effects lets you select the color you want to remove from the background. Now I'm going to go over to let's say uh, let me go over to images and then let me drag this move right here. Let me drag this on. And you can see that this actually has a white background. So let me just drag in the morning sky which is underneath just to show you that this works. So to remove the white background, you can actually use something called a luma key. Okay, that's under the obsolete menu. So because it is obsolete, it is not used much, much these days. But I'm going to show that to you anyways. I'm going to drag this Luma key on the top of the image. And then I'm going to select, let's say, key out brighter. So once I select key out brighter, it actually uh, keys out the brighter areas, that is, the white areas. So I can increase and decrease the threshold in order to see the footage I want. And I, I, I can increase the edge featherness to make it look soft. So let me increase the threshold a bit. Let me use L thin. That's just like the simple choker. Okay, that's too much of a feather right here. Not need too much. Okay, so I can key out the brighter part. And if I were, were to key out the darker part, it actually has an opposite effect. And I can also uh, to key out similar and re uh, move the slider to key out the stuff. So let me increase the tolerance a bit so that you can see the effect. So I can now 
once I increase the tolerance, I can drag it down to key up the darker part, and I can drag it out to key up the gray, uh, gray part, and then I can drag up to key out the white part similarly. So this is key out similar, and if I were to choose key out dissimilar, it works in the opposite direction. That's it. So this is another way how you can key out, th uh, key out things as well, but it is not the preferred way because white backgrounds are not the preferred keying backgrounds. That's because we may be wearing white shifts and we may, and uh, also we do not use other colors such as yellow or red because we already have red and yellow colored skin mixture of tone. So it might actually key out our face and not the colors I want. So anyways, uh, th this is something you can use as well. So let me just export this video. That's candle on green screen movie. So let me export this video. Let me go over to file, export, add to render queue, output module. Let me just choose quick time as a 264. That's fine. I do not need the audio, so let me turn it off. That's okay. And then this is the folder I want to export it in. And this is a tutorial 5. Let's save and render. Okay, and that's it. And let's, let me just go over to my folder. Okay, that's my footage. Let me open it up with VLC. And this is my video. So now that's the basics of King. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. And in the future, we'll be covering up some more interesting features of After Effects as well. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.